What's up, everybody? I'm Damon Hatfield on the line with the director of the upcoming MonsterVerse epic, Godzilla Kong The New Empire, Adam Wingard. How's it going, Adam? It's going great. So, first of all, the, the correct pronunciation we just established this, it is just Godzilla Kong The New, Imp the New Empire, The X is silent, is that right? Uh, that's right. You know, uh, sometimes I call it GXK because it just sounds sure. cool and it's easy but to say. And we always refer to the last film as GBK. So it's just uh, people can say it however they want, though. But yeah, technically, Godzilla Kong The New Empire. But you'll probably hear me in the middle of this interview call it Godzilla X Kong at some point. Yeah, just in case uh, anyone out there doesn't know, you also directed the previous film, Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, and the, the end, uh, the big battle at the end of that film, it was kind of a rock, paper, scissors situation where Godzilla beat Kong, Kong beat Mechagodzilla, and Mechagodzilla beat Godzilla. But Godzilla and Kong seemed to come to a, a mutual understanding and respect at the end of that film. So how's their relationship going into the new empire? Well, they, they definitely came to... Um, an understanding, but I think it, it, you know, like the interpretation that I have at the end of GVK is that there's a truce, but it's an uneasy truce. Mm. You know, Godzilla acknowledges the fact that Kong saved uh, the day there at the end, but really that exchange between the two titans, if there are subtitles going on <laughs> when the monsters are looking at each other, uh, Godzilla would say, all right, you know, like we're, we're even for now, but don't <laughs> let me catch you around here again. So, where we leave that film and where we begin this one, uh, Godzilla is still sort of the overseer of the surface world, and Kong is now he's overlooking the the, the hollow earth, the underworld. Mm -hmm. So you got Godzilla above, Kong below, and right now that's the state of things. Well, in the in the trailers for this, we, we've seen Godzilla do something that we've never seen him before, just full on sprinting towards the camera. Uh, and there was a big reaction to that that really got the fans talking. Were you expecting such a big reaction to running Godzilla? <laughs> Um, well, you know, that, that shot was actually the, the one of the very first things I pitched for this movie. That was, you know, I, I'd sort of had a bunch of the set pieces in mind, the general story, some of the new characters, and that shot. And it's interesting because what you don't really realize is that, you know, scale is a tricky thing to capture in these movies. And so much of it is about, you know, the, the Titan's size. And, you know, in general, you know, you usually depict that from, you know, very low angles and you kind of accentuate the slow motion of the moment to project the illusion of scale. That usually makes something look bigger when it's moving slower through the frame and objects are falling very slowly. Uh, but with this film, Godzilla is not just a monster that we're looking at in awe all the time. So much of the Titan action is depicted at, not just at the eye level of the monsters, but from their perspective. And if you were a monster battling you know, another monster, you know, everything's going to look just like it does if I'm fighting somebody else. It's going to be moving fast, you know. And Godzilla is sprinting more than he's ever sprinted before <laughs> because this is his evolved form. He's athletic a little bit more yeah. in, in the leg areas. And, uh, you know, so he does have a bit more of a, a, a capacity to uh, haul ass. So. <laughs> Can you comment on Godzilla's new shade of pink? Yeah, it's, it, it's interesting because on the last movie, Godzilla vs. Kong, it was really important to me to keep Godzilla consistent from King of Monsters so that there was a continuity in terms of whenever he's fighting with Kong, I wanted it to feel like the Godzilla you know versus the Kong that you know. I wanted it to be part of the major drive of the story, why Godzilla's getting this new look. And the pink color itself, it's, it's not random. Within the movie, there's, there's, there's actually a reasoning behind why he actually turns pink. It's not just like he evolves and for some reason the blue turns to pink, you know. Uh, with that said, pink is my favorite color. Wow. You know, our editorial that we, <laughs> that we edit at the movie and it was covered with pink lights and uh you know and generally i usually always have pink you know kind of fairy lights uh in any room that i'm in the, yeah the, so yeah <laughs> cool. what can you tell us about the new uh villain monster uh, another a giant ape story is it, is it any relation to kong 
Yeah, that's the the Star King, and um, he he's a he's a nasty guy. But the influences in creating him is I wanted him to be this nefarious dictator titan. You know, like what's interesting about him as a villain is because he's more in the ape category, similar to Kong. He has a bit more of a human intelligence and a human vibe, which means that his intentions are more human. So there's there's sort of almost more of a an ego dr uh, driving this as opposed to an animal force that just wants to destroy things. So, you know, Scar King is attracted to power and control and all these negative traits that, you know, a dictator might have. And um, I wanted uh, like a, a, a foe for Kong that almost like the anti Kong, somebody who, you know, could really, f you know, go toe to toe and outmatch him in terms of agility and those kind of things. And, I took a lot of influence from, there's a 70s thriller movie called Emperor of the North starring uh, Lee Marvin and Ernest Borgnine. And the thing that always stood out to me is there's this amazing battle at the end of the film where Ernest Borgnine's got this chain that he's like swinging around and, you know, and Lee Marvin's got an ax and um, it's an awesome fight. That was, that was kind of an inspiration I took into this. Uh, <laughs> it's something I really wanted to see on a, on a 300 foot uh, scale. <laughs> okay. It looks like Kong's getting an assist from humans with some sort of a, a mechanical glove on his on his hand. Is that right? Uh, yeah, that's the uh, as as it's called in the toys, the beast glove. We were always trying to find ways to kind of evolve the characters, and and Godzilla obviously has a major evolution. And with Kong, we were kind of inspired in, in, in terms of going in almost more of like an anime direction with adding this, you know, huge mechanical power glove, as it's also called. <laughs> and I think the, the, the you know, the, the beast glove is sort of a representation of that where, you know, as we've gone kind of like more wild tonally and more psychedelic, um, it's kind of given us license to push into these realms that you know i don't think you would have thought would be ever possible in a big mainstream you know king kong movie to see him wearing a uh a mechanical uh, glove on his arm and so you know we're, we're trying to maximize you know the, the the tonal direction that we've gone in with uh things like that and finally what can you tell us about this this young ape that we see there is um in, in king kong's history there's mighty joe young which is sort of a young version of kong is this any any relationship to that at all well, this is Suko, and otherwise known in the trailer as Baby Kong. Um, I, I guess like the the influence was always like the idea of like a Son of Kong type character. Like we wanted something, you know, like an interesting companion, you know, to the film and to Kong. And the movie kind of started with Suko, and and it really grew around the the concept of what what if Kong met this, you know, younger version of himself. Uh, I can't say Mighty Joe Young was, you know, something I was necessarily thinking of, mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm super excited for this film. IGN fans know that I'm a huge Godzilla fan. I feel so spoiled right now. There's so much great Godzilla content coming out. Be sure to catch Godzilla Kong The New Empire in theaters March 29th. Stick around for more FanFest.